So are we going to go with the acid flow? As usual, the answer is no. We've got a slightly better way to look at this. All right, so if you looked in just the code that I gave you and you did our typical thing of searching for freeze to find the use after freeze, you're not going to find anything. But this is some C++ -y code, so if you instead search for delete, you will find one reference to delete. And so that's your easy hint of where to potentially get started. So now let's uh, go over and find this resize in the full source code to see what's going on with it. So here in resize, if we go down and find that delete, we're going to see that it is saying if p display is not null, then delete it and then create a new one with this new object creator right here, constructor. So where does that p display come from? It comes from this set VGA function, which was passed in null. This set VGA ultimately is going to return old. Old comes from vserve VGA. And so basically that's just a private member of this particular object. So basically you're passing in null and you're getting back the old version that was already there. Okay, so we've got some object that's being freed and we want to go find the use after free vulnerability. So we're going to focus on the use of this VBox VHWA surface base where VHWA stands for Video Hardware Acceleration. So we want to see where this particular thing, which is coming from within an object, is potentially used after this free. I mean, you can see the free happens and then there's a recreation, so what's the problem going to be? Well, I had told you to focus on how that table is used, and so first of all, let's see how we get to this particular code. So let's find the call references to this code. So resize is called by VBox QGL overlay, VBox syncs GL, which is called by these, which is called by this. And ultimately, this gets us back to that VBox do VHWA command exec, which was given in the simplified code. So inside of this function, there are many different commands that can be executed. These are all shared commands coming from within the virtual machine being processed by the hypervisor outside of the guest VM. And so amongst these commands, you know, this was one of the ones that I highlighted. And so we need to see, you know, what's going on with this. We can see here that that resize thing will be called, you know, whether it's true or false, one of these paths will lead us down to resize. So let's see what else happens here. So we could, you know, go into this has surfaces and this would ultimately not find us anything particularly interesting. We would see that there's, you know, again, a get VGA, which is pulling from that same location. It's pulling that M surf VGA. So, I mean, that could potentially be a use after free if, for instance, this has surfaces was called after the resize, but it looks like it's being called before. So, if we go into this surface create, then when we look at the full function, we're going to see, you know, it's pretty big. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here, but that's why I sort of cut it down and simplified it for you to kind of hint at what the most important things were. So, down towards the bottom of this function, we're going to find this use of the m surf handle table and we're going to see there's a map put and there's a put and so if you dug into this handle table what you ultimately found was that it's basically saying okay we've got some pointer and we're going to put it in the table and you can you know put it in based on a handle or you can just put it in and it'll decide the handle itself so if we go into this function and we see you know okay this h Basically, it's being used as an index into this M table, and we go deeper into do put, and we basically see whatever the data is, it's just being put in at the given index. So the handle is just some array index, and the data is whatever is passed in. So in this particular case, the data that's being passed in is this surf object, a surface. And where does that surface come from? If we scroll back up, can see that the surface could be created by one of these VBox VHWA surface base constructors. So that's the same sort of constructor that we saw up in that resize function. So this is another allocation point. The resize could allocate it or this function could allocate it. And either way, what's going to happen at the end of this function is it's going to be put into a table where it can potentially be looked up later. And so that's kind of the thing that's going to be the core of this issue, 
This table serves as an opportunity for use after free due to dangling pointers. So basically references here get put into the table through one of these cases, gets put into the table, and then later on it can be looked up based on a handle because the attacker is going to get back a handle or the attacker can just specify an arbitrary handle. It turns out it's fully attacker controlled, right? So if we go back up and see where this handle comes from, the handle comes from the p command, which is the fully acid value coming in from the guest. You can see it's rt untrusted volatile guest. So completely acid value coming in handle. The handle can be used to essentially look up arbitrary things in that table. So here we see a get, and this is just being used for, you know, sanity checking at the beginning when this is called. But other functions that would call get, the attacker could specify an arbitrary handle and pull in arbitrary data. And so if that data was something that was deleted in the resize operation, then that would be leaving a dangling pointer in the handle table, and subsequently this would lead to use after free. So basically if we want to consider a specific control flow that could lead to this, so we have right here, this is going to pull one of those surfaces out. So the VGA surface just pulls from M display, get VGA, and that just again returns this M surf VGA. So private member of an object being pulled out. So that's another example where it'll pull it out. And then if this is already uh, set at this point, then it goes down to here. This gets set as surf. And so there's two control flow paths through here essentially that are interesting. And that's what we're given in the simplified code. Path one is that if the attacker in their fully attacker controlled command uh, uh, capabilities, surf capabilities, surface capabilities, if they specify this flag, then it'll go down here. It'll look up something that already exists. It'll put it in the surface. And then subsequently later on, instead of this being allocated new, uh, it's just going to have that surface being set into the table. So here, for instance, or there. So that's control flow path one. And the alternate control flow path is the one where it's just allocated. So again, these commands are invoked from within the VM. So the attacker can call this, cause this function to occur. The first time they go through, they could go in here and this uh, VHWA surface create, right? So the, the resize, you know, could allocate, this one could allocate, they can just set it so that ultimately whichever path they want occurs, either this one, or the one that does the allocation right here. They let the value be set into the uh, surface table. So they let it go in here, either this one or this one. Again, they control values. They can choose which path it's going to take. And so then they're done. They've got something stuck into this table, a particular surface, a particular allocation, a particular C++ object, and then it's all good. And they can create a dangling pointer the next time by basically the next time they call this function again, they cause this vbox set gl on to occur. That goes down through to this resize. The resize is trying to look it up. The resize successfully looks it up. So basically it pulls the value that's already there, gets it in p display. It's no longer null because it was set in that previous invocation of the function. Then it goes ahead and deletes it and it allocates a new one. The problem is, of course, that now that entry in the table is a dangling pointer. And so if they call this a third time, so basically now when they call the commands a third time, whether they call this one or they call, you know, some other commands, the key point is that if there's something that calls the get to look something up, then it will pull an arbitrary uh, handle, right? Again, the attacker controls the handles here. So if they went in here, they could specify an arbitrary handle. They could go back and uh, look up specifically the handle for the thing that got freed in the resize, and then it will ultimately be used and invoked. So at that point, you know, exploitation is just a matter of making sure that they, after the delete, after the resize, after the free, they make sure that they fill in that RAM with some other value that's useful. And then all of a sudden, instead of being, you know, a typical C++ object, you've got some arbitrary attacker controlled thing. So the usage of that object can lead to, for instance, you know, arbitrary uh, function pointer calls with C++ virtual functions or just, you know, arbitrary data that can be useful to them elsewhere. All right, so what was the fix for this? 
I looked at the advisory and it said this vulnerability prior to 5.2.40, and 6.1.6. Basically, anything prior to that is assumed to be vulnerable. So I went and I looked at the 6.0.20 and 6.1.6, and when I diffed against a reference uh, subversion version that was given by the original researcher, this is all I came up with in this particular file. Basically, just taking something and, you know, making it a constant and making it a, yeah, constant pointer, basically. So that does not look like a fix for this problem for me. This looks like just some unrelated change in this code. So, of course, they don't have their CVEs uh, listed explicitly in the SVN fix log, so I had to go running around looking into that. So I went back and was looking for VBox FB overlay, and then, you know, this was the, this, the difference I found, again, doing that uh, within the SVN logs, you know, checking based on changes, because this was around the right time, around April of 2020 was when the fix release went out. Uh, but this was the only change, and so that wasn't it. Then furthermore, the next change back that referenced VBox FB overlay was on 2, uh, sorry, February 2020, and the original reporter said that they reported it in March, so that was too early, that couldn't possibly be it. And then that essentially meant that, you know, there was no actual fix there. So then I started looking forward in the history, and what I found was in June of 2020, they went ahead and just completely deleted this entire code base and attack surface. And there were no obvious replacements. There was no obvious like rename or anything like that. Searching through the latest version of the code doesn't land you those same functions. So it didn't look like this code got moved anywhere. The code just got straight up deleted. And while that is a good way to fix things, just remove attack surface if you don't need it anymore, right? If they have a completely different way of handling it, new code, then great, delete the old code. That's good. The thing that was bad here is that they, in April, said that they had fixed this issue, when in reality there was no fix whatsoever. So this was an interesting thing that I haven't seen previously in this class, where something was just straight up not fixed at all, but then later secretly deleted behind the scenes.